Every teen has their own personal problem, but mine's is slightly different. I possess something unnatural, something that cannot be bottled up or simply ignored. I possess the fierce fire that ignites the rage of an untamable animal in the form of a beast. This is my story. As a freshman, I always got bullied. Sometimes I questioned why, but I never got the answer. Times got harder. I never knew where it would end. That's good, bud. So, yo, where are we going with one on one? Come here. and know who to trust anymore. It seemed like wherever I went, trouble always found me. And then, I snapped. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hey, no! I grew angrier and angrier. I can flush your hair down the floor rather than your last time. Let you leave the class. Today we're going to talk about bullying basically. Um, bullying is not a good thing. Like there's so many different types of bullying. Like cyber bullying, verbal bullying, mental. It and seems as though they just couldn't I mean, get enough. They're all not good at all. You hey, feel me? Buddy. Oh, you feel you better? Nerd boy. <laughs> Even other people feel bad. Where you going? So and also, his foot. What you going to jail? Yo, you must be kidding me. Work school are possibly suspended, which we all wouldn't want to see happen. Um, also, um, also, what are different type of like? Like, like if you see, do? like, if you witness somebody getting bullied, don't just say that. Like, speak up. Go tell somebody so it can stop. Yeah, that that's a good idea. Don't always stand up to a bully. Like, show them and make them think. Like. Help them to help them think that bullying is not right at all. And have them do the right thing. So if you are a bully or someone who's being bullied, just try to talk to each other. Speak try up. to yeah, speak speak up. And like just a bully's talk to someone, like maybe the person that you're bullying, because 
you may be going through the same thing they're going through and they possibly can help you in major ways that you probably cannot say and do not take your anger out on them because of problems that you have going on home or anywhere else possibly. All right, I'm gonna talk about peer pressure and like what it can cause. Like peer pressure is basically when like you have friends and they want you to do what they're doing. So like they pressure you into doing stupid stuff like I mean smoking drugs or drinking stuff like that, and that that can get you in a lot of trouble. So don't follow your friends. Let's talk about anger management problems today. Because someone may be bullying you verbally, cyberly, or any type of bullying you, you should not retaliate such in a matter of any type of violence. Because it will not help you get over anything. You're going to feel the same way you did. The way you should actually handle these things are go to an adult, a princip your principal, a teacher, your parent, most importantly. They all can help you out instead of using it. All right, patience. You can go somewhere and kind of go to yourself and have a moment. All right, go for a walk. Or maybe possibly if you're at home, go outside, get a little air, help you cool down a little bit so you can think to yourself before you do something stupid, which is a quick reaction towards, which I was saying earlier, anger management. Which, like, you already got the idea to be a parent, talk to your teacher, whatever. But most important, again, you can also talk to a friend, which I did not state the first time, and you can actually have a communication because they may or may not be able to help you in the situation you're in. But most likely someone of your type of, in your age group are most likely to be able to help you out. That's it.